what's done in the dark will always be brought to the light. We cannot hide from God. Too many of us fall short of the glory of God and then we run away and hide from God when God wants us to come to him. God already knew you were going to make that mistake before you made it. God is all knowing. There's nothing that you can do here on this earth that God does not know about. Be transparent with God. You can try to appear to be this holy person, this perfect, righteous, religious person all you want. God sees the heart. God knows who you are on the inside. There are so many big influencers and big pastors who are misusing their influence. We have to understand that those who are teachers, those who are preachers, those who are pastors, anyone who is being used to bring souls to God, you have to understand that you have a great, great, great responsibility. James 3 verse 1 says, Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that those who teach will be judged more strictly. Teachers of the word have a greater responsibility because you can either lead someone towards God or you can lead someone away from God. God is going to judge those teachers of the word according to the impact that they've had. So if you are someone that is misrepresenting God or that you are leading people astray, you are going to be judged accordingly for your works. 1 Corinthians 3.11 tells us that all Christians are going to have to stand before Christ to have our works tested by the fire. Christ is going to reward us according to the works we've done. It is so important that us, the body of Christ, we are representing Jesus in the right way. It's important that we do not compromise with the world. Too many mega pastors and huge influencers are compromising with the world because they're scared to offend people, they're scared to lose followers, they're scared to be persecuted, but that is not what God told us to do. God told us to be set apart. God told us not to conform to the patterns of the world. God said that we will be hated. We will be persecuted. They're going to hate you because they hated me first. Jesus said they're going to hate you because you're in this world, but you're not of it. We have to stand firm on the truth, no matter how offensive it might be. When you love someone, you tell them the truth. We have to stand firm on the truth. Truth is what is going to save a person's soul from damnation. Stop compromising body of Christ stop worrying about losing followers stop worrying about people not liking you stop worrying about being hated we're not here to be liked by the world we're here to be liked by God I don't know about you but I want to hear the words well done good and faithful servant I'm not trying to hear depart from me for I do not know you I don't want to hear those words so I'm not gonna live my life to try to please the world or please the masses or be liked or get people's money I'm not in it for that I'm in it to please my father in heaven so it is up to me to hold this responsibility and to not take it lightly those who are misusing their platforms or their influence for selfish motives or greed or selfish gain those people will be exposed God knows a person's true motives. God knows the person's heart. God does not see us for our physical exterior appearance. God sees our inside. God sees our heart. Your heart has any sort of selfish ambitions inside of you and you're using the name of God to get money or you're using the name of God to get followers, you need to repent what's done in the dark will be brought to the light the motives of your heart are going to be exposed so this is a call to repent for anyone that has misused the name of god or misrepresented god there are a lot of people in the kingdom that have strayed away from the truth they might have used to be walking with god they might have used to be spirit led but now they are led by the world romans 121 says for although they knew god they did not honor god or give thanks to him but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened. They've strayed away from the truth and they have been tainted by the darkness of this world. Body of Christ, recognize that we have to be accountable to God at the end of this. We are held to a higher standard. Do not misuse your position or your influence. Make sure that you are truly spirit led and not led by the customs and the patterns of this world. Stand firm on the truth, okay, and serve with love.